Good afternoon. I'm Marsha Parcell. I'm the Health and Human Science Educator for Purdue Extension in Dearborn County. And today, welcome to Cooking Capers edition number three. And we are talking about apples today. And so, as I begin this session today, I'm actually preparing applesauce. So, I wanted to show you this quick and simple recipe, but it takes four apples. And I actually am leaving the peels on the apples for a good reason, because uh, a great way to add fiber to our diet. And my family likes it chunky and with the peels on. And depending on what color apples you use, it gives it wonderful color too. So a healthy way to um, prepare applesauce. So four apples, a half a cup of water, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And if you want to, you can add two tablespoons of sugar, but I'm not even adding sugar to it because I found that my family likes it unsweetened and it makes it sweet enough the way it is. So we are going to let that cook and I will put the lid on it while we're doing Facebook Live here and then talk about how to finish that off in the end. But this can be made very inexpensively. Apples are something that's very inexpensive. And so actually I bought a combination of five apples and an orange and it was a whole dollar that I spent on that. So if we have four servings of applesauce or six servings of applesauce, this is more than less than 50 cents per serving for this applesauce. And you'll see how quick and easy this is. But I have other recipes that I love too. Applesauce is something that my family loves. And especially I have a crock pot recipe that I'll put it on in the winter time and it'll cook all day long. It just makes the house smell wonderful. So one thing to do with apples, but does anybody know what the original fast food was? So we are doing this Facebook Live. So thank you for those that are watching it, Facebook Live. And if you want to give any responses, I'll see if we get any responses in. But uh, what was the original fast food? So uh, I've asked this before. We'll, we'll leave a little time to see if anybody uh, responds to that. But did you know that the apple is not originally from North America? The only native um, uh, apple is actually the crab apple. And if you know about crab apples, they're very small apples and they're used to make apple butter. So uh, just a little bit of history about apples. Apples, a medium apple is only about 80 calories. And so they're great snacks. And so I'll have to go back did we get any responses about the original fast food? Well, the original fast food was the apple. They picked it off the tree and they ate it, which I love to hear kids tell me, you know, Burger King and so on. But it was really apples. And there's no better fast food than the original fast food. So we talk a lot about, you know, eating a doc apple and keeping the doctor away. So we want to get into... The next thing that I was advertised what we were really presenting was apple pie in a glass. And so in each of these blender containers here, we have one cup of milk and one cup of vanilla yogurt. And what we're going to do next is actually the recipe calls for peeling the apple. But I would encourage you, we're going to make both versions of it so we can see the difference. Um, and then we want to add also a half a teaspoon of cinnamon to each. And so we're going to do a experiment here you know in a taste test so you can do this in your house do you prefer it with peeled apples or unpeeled apples so we're going to make it both ways here and so adding our cinnamon to this and see which one you think has better work too so now taking care of our apples we're going to these are gala apples they are a very popular apple in the United States currently. We can talk about, too, uh, earlier in another version of this, we asked about strawberries. And so uh, apples, of course, are grown in the United States, too. But does anyone know what state produces the most apples? And so we are <laughs> eager to see if anyone can share that information with us. So these gala apples, I'm actually going to dice it into the blender here, unpeeled, but then like I said, I will do a peeled version of it also. The other thing about apples is they have little pockets of seeds in them, and according to uh, research, there's like five of them. 
And then it depends on the variety, how many different seeds there are. There are other things that may affect to the number of seeds that are each of, in each of those little pockets. The apple to the United States, this is actually our second most valuable fruit that is grown in the United States. Does anybody have an idea what the most valuable one is to us? It is in the citrus family, it is that orange. So going back to talking about the states that produce apples, and the one that produces the most apples is Washington. So that's a long way from Indiana, but if you pay attention to when you buy apples in the grocery store, you will often see that it is identified as Washington State apple. So you need to know too that apples are fat, sodium, and cholesterol free. So another reason to eat them. An uh, apple has about five grams of fiber too. Fiber is an important thing that we want in our diet. I was going to ask a true or false question. So how many think that the largest apple was five pounds? No, it was not. It was three pounds. So in talking about other things, so do you think apples are grown in all 50 states in the U.S.? They sure are. Now, there are states where there are more commercial growers than others, but they are grown in all 50 states of the United States. So we are almost finished with these gala apples. We're putting two large apples in, and I'm, this is the unpeeled version of it. And then we're going to put it one handful of ice cubes in, and we'll blend it. And our applesauce is over here cooking too. So, one handful of ice. So we're ready to blend. Put the peels on. It does not tell us what kind of apples. There are lots of apples. Apples come in red, green, yellow. Here we are. Okay. See my buttons here. All right. I'm going to plug these in for it to work. So we will do that here and then we will be ready. on the blender. <laughs> so this is what it looks like with the peeled apples in, which is wonderful. I mean, it's kind of like thinking there might be strawberries in there or something, but you'd be very surprised when you took a bite of apple pie because that it's apple pie in a glass. So now we want to go ahead and do the version without the peels on. So we will, I work on peeling those apples. Uh, some more information about apples. So when you buy apples, you should refrigerate them because that helps to keep them from ripening. And that's the best way to store them. Apples can be stored for a long time. When I was younger, we didn't have the luxury of having many fruits all year round like we do today. But because of refrigeration and growing things indoors and so on, we have many more opportunities to have a, a, right, a wider variety of fruits. If you're wondering what country in the world produces the most apples, it is China, and then the U.S., and then there are other countries, Turkey, Poland, and Italy follow in line. So here we are adding the peeled apples, which what will happen with this version is it will not have as much color. We're always thinking about adding color to things. Um, there are about 2,500 varieties of apples in the U.S., that is. So
but worldwide there are like 7,500 variety of apples. And so they're always creating new varieties of apples too. So maybe you're familiar with one that it seems like has been newer with the pink lady. So, you know, a fun thing might be to take the kids to the grocery store and let them pick out what apples they want to put into their smoothie or into the applesauce. Another thing that I suggest too with the applesauce is I like to use different kinds of apples within the applesauce. Or if you're going to make apple pie, maybe you've heard before to use a variety of apples to make a better taste than an apple pie also. So there's nothing wrong with mixing it up a little bit. Many of us maybe hear about Granny Smith apples um, for apple pie, but to use a variety of apples is a wonderful idea too. Although there are some varieties of apples that are better for applesauce or pies and so on. So doing a little research, you can quickly find those answers. And the library would be a great place to come and find that information. I'm sure you can find other apple recipes at the library too. Or you can always contact me at mparcel at purdue.edu. I love to hear from people and have questions like that to give you information that I have access to. Another source that's good that Purdue has is the Purdue Food Link. And so you can visit the Purdue Food Link to find out what, season, what uh, produce is in season, what it should look like when you buy it at the market, lots of tips, what to pair it with, and other information vital to that. There's always some recipes there too for you to try. So out food links, Purdue food links. Hopefully too, maybe you have the chance this summer to visit the farmer's market, or maybe you're growing your own food at home this summer. Although apples is not something that we would be able to grow just in one season like many other things that we put into our gardens. This would be require investing some time and learning about the process. I'm sure that, you know, there are resources at the library too to learn if you would want to plant an apple tree. The other reason you do not want to peel the apple, going back to our apple, and here I am peeling the apple for this one. I made the version without the peels, the, or with the peels the first time. But these peels contain many antioxidants, and these antioxidants uh, protect us against diseases, and so again, a reason to eat these peels rather than taking them off. So I left them on in the applesauce too. Um, again, my family likes the chunky applesauce and we're almost ready here to blend this one where we have our peeled apples too. So apple pie in a glass. So we'll see what the great difference is here shortly. Apples is something that I have in my house regularly on a base in the crisper drawer all the time. So it really is a fast food that I can grab anytime I want at my house or anyone else in my house too. But I probably am the one that eats the most apples. So we are ready for version number two of apple pie in a glass. And so again, this is one cup of yogurt, one cup of milk, and I came from the fairgrounds today. If you do not know, we were giving away free milk at the fairgrounds um, till gone. So I do not know the status of that currently. And then we want a handful of ice and two apples and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So one cup of yogurt, one cup of milk, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, two apples, and then our handful of ice. So we are going to... the peel, but the real test will be, so you can 
That's the set your house. See which version your family likes best. Okay, so we've done uh, apple pie in a glass. We have our apple sauce cooking here. So it's going to, this takes about 20 minutes this way. So I'm hoping this will be done in time to show you at the end. Um, you, this can easily be um, less chunky, which to make it chunky, you might use a fork or a potato masher to finish it off so that it's ready for dinner. So there's different versions of potato masher. So just to know, and then maybe some of you've seen this uh, up kitchen appliance. Maybe grandma has this, but when my mother was making applesauce, this was the fulling mill that the applesauce was processed through, processed through. And applesauce is very easy to freeze. Um, my family, a lot of them like it frozen. They just get it out and get it slightly involved. So it's kind of slushy. They like that very much that way. Or you could also process it in a canner. So to know the steps to take with the applesauce, we want to talk about one final recipe. And this kind of goes back to our tortillas from last week. So switching a little bit here, remove our ice that we won't need for this. But this is to do fruit, our pocket fruit pie. And so what we're going to do is we need a tortilla again. So we're back to tortilla. Another thing that my family likes is apple crisp, and I make that in the microwave. I will leave the peels on making the apple crisp too, and you can make it in 10 minutes in the microwave. So. Uh, if you would need that version of recipe from me, again, let me know, and I would be glad to send that to you. Okay, so to make these apple or pocket fruit pies, you're going to use a 350-degree oven. You're going to chop the fruit into pieces, and then you're going to put about a fourth of the fruit in each one of them. So it actually, the whole recipe calls for using two whole apples, but I'm just going to show you how to assemble one, because you would then bake this. So we're just going to begin by chopping this, and it does ask, well, it does not say, so you can do different versions of this, but it's all about apples today. Remember that apples were the original fast food, and so we will just do a half of this, because if you're doing two apples, two apples, you know, you cut them both into four pieces, or into halves, you're going to have four pieces. So you would put this fruit into the tortilla. And then we're going to have another combination of spices, which is a half, or rather, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and two tablespoons of brown sugar and an eighth a teaspoon of nutmeg. And we're going to sprinkle just a little bit on the fruit here. Again, two tablespoons of brown sugar, a fourth a teaspoon of cinnamon, and an eighth a teaspoon of nutmeg. And then you would divide this between the four different tortillas. So we just need a bit here. And then what you're going to do is roll up the tortilla, starting with the end with the fruit, it says. So you want to move it to the end. And then what you're going to do, you can tuck the ends in. And you want to put some little slits in this so that the steam can uh, escape. And you're going to brush it with some butter, or no, not butter, milk rather. And then you're going to bake it in a 350 degree oven for about 8 to 12 minutes. So you can make a pocket fruit pie. So we uh, will check on the applesauce here that I think we're getting into. <laughs> some time here. You can see that the applesauce is coming along quite well. It, it looks like it's almost time to mash it. So you see how quickly this was on maybe five minutes less than that. It was no, I was dicing apples as we were beginning. So this is just a half a cup of water and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and then 
Again, you can add two tablespoons of sugar to it if you like, if your family wants it sweeter, but we get enough sugar in our diet, so we don't have to add any more sugar to it. So I hope you will try some of these recipes with apples, and we'd love to hear your reactions to any of the recipes. We look forward to seeing you next week when we it's red, white, and blue edition of Cooking Papers. Thanks for joining us today.